Looks like it belongs on like an Apple II or something. Yeah. September 21st, 1987. It's been one year since I first went inside that house. I have to finish what I started. What I am about to do has not been approved by the Vatican. A tutorial demon. <laughs> All right. They're like the lowest. Actually, they probably got a pretty good position in uh, in hell. Yeah. Just like, just like we don't get tortured as much. We just get to like stand here. We just stand and wait for somebody who doesn't know how to banish demons to come by, so they can learn how to banish demons. <laughs> and we get banished. And it's like no big deal. <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. Well, well, well. Suffer. <laughs> Damn. Look at that terrible clown. Yeah, I, I do hate that clown. Everyone hear the 5 0 out there? Yeah. Eh, 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 get out of here. <laughs> it's just What's a couple this? forms you gotta sign. What's this? Chaos Reds. Oh. Buffy the Vampire Slayer 2 Chaos Reds. <laughs> System? That sounds like something like that would be implemented into like Guilty Gear or something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our new patented beast system. <laughs> Ooh, we got graves. Uh. Y'all y'all sanctified? <laughs> Longer than expected, registering the markers on your property as a historical cemetery. Our office has had difficulty identifying who is buried here. And the, um, the inscriptions on the gravestones are written in a language that we cannot identify. I've sent the gravestone rubbings to some of my peers at the University of Connecticut. I will reach out to you when I get a response from them. All the best, Daryl Henderson, the State of Connecticut Historical Society. The plot thickens, I guess. I suppose. Here we are. It's this is... locked. Fuck! <laughs> oh, I gotta go find the key. 
Give me the key, you fucking dear. <laughs> this is kind of a nice touch to have. Like, just kind of some regular animals out here, too. Yeah. Nah, man. <laughs> so, in my, uh, my music-making DAW, I, like the program, I have an instrument that is that voice. Oh, God. So I can... I have, like, my little MIDI piano, and I can make it say, like, Suffer! <laughs> Bob, the kids and I miss you more every day. The twins and Amy have started their next school year here at home. Amy keeps asking when she's going to be allowed to go to, go to real school. I think she's getting cabin fever. The twins are having... Having no problems occupying their time. Yesterday they came in with their hands covered in blood. I guess they found a dead deer and thought it would be a good idea to touch it. I think we might have a coyote problem because when I went out with them to look at the dead deer, it was a pretty gruesome sight. All this is just a day after the twins' birthday party. Can't wait till you come home. Alright, alright. You sanctified those bones? Oh yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Suffer! Suffer! Oh, hello! I don't think I didn't see you out there, you <laughs> demon fuck. Get out! <laughs> the Martin's house lies about a hundred yards off the Smith's Snake Meadow Hill Road. This is almost no driveway. Trees just out in the middle of the gravel path that is mostly covered in grass. It was difficult to find the house, especially since it was already dark when we arrived. Father Alred seemed to know where he was going. He simply drove straight ahead until we arrived at the house. In the headlights, I saw an old shed off to the uh, off to the right of the path. Father Alred explained that he would rather perform the exorcism from from away from the house, but the Martins had insisted that Amy remain inside. He complained that having the family doesn't makes it difficult to proceed with elements of the right that may seem harsh to a layperson. You know what? Being around Catholics in my life, I don't feel like I trust the priest there. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Fuck off! What? Didn't catch that. Alright, here we are in the Demon House. Welcome to Demon House. Six dead Americans <laughs> left into a house with nothing to do but die. Mr. and Mrs. Martin greeted us at the front porch. Mr. Martin led us downstairs to the basement, explaining that Amy was down here in restraints. I felt for him. There was a guilt and shame in his voice. Amy was in the very back of the attic in a chair, perfectly calm, staring at us. It's hard to describe the look on her face. It was not the kind of look a child gives you. Yeah, haunted painting. Classic. <laughs> look, look at her like, uh, I'm a gamer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly what that face says to me. <laughs> All right. Sanctify the refrigerator real quick. He gives me a Martin Shkreli vibe. Cool, cool. Nate, you made that. Yeah, it was me. What is this, like a fucking clock? Ha! <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> you sure showed it. Haunted cactus? Haunted plant? Haunted easy chair? Haunted table? Haunted sofa? <laughs> haunted television? You sure? You sure the television isn't haunted? Yeah, I what don't about know. this window? Lamp. Damn. Oh. See that there's like a thing? Yeah. 
It's pretty cool. It's also very creepy how silent it is. Oh yeah. Haunted dresser. Haunted bed stand. Haunted bed. <laughs> haunted nightstand. Hold on. Just gotta <laughs> just waddle gotta over here. On over. Haunted? No. <laughs> We're getting you haunted. Do you need symbols of brutal capital punishment? Oh, okay. Uh, uh, based on what Norm is saying, go go up there, like to where. Uh, turn backwards, and then do the thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. That was a good idea, anyway. Oh, that brings us back here. Haunted potted plant. No. <laughs> Looks like the staircase. Haunted staircase. No. You know that exercise bike probably haunted. Oh, definitely. It's probably dead from never being used. Shower. No. <laughs> oh, exorcise bike. Nice. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Wait, they've got three sinks in this bathroom. Yeah. Who are these fucking people? People who need to wash their fucking hands. <laughs> I guess I was the only one who thought to check in the attic. When I got up there, it was freezing cold. Oh, oh, freezing temperatures, mark it down. Yeah, mark it down. Uh, when I got up there, uh, oh yeah, I found Amy standing in the back looking straight at me when I first met her downstairs. We spoke briefly. Although it was frustrating to talk to her, or it, I experienced a bit of deception from the demon. During our conversation, she uttered my mother's first name, and in other instances spoke perfect Latin. I called for help for the, from the others, but nobody came, so I raised my crucifix and began the rite again. As you do. Standard. Haunted. How about you? No. What's haunted? 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 Ah. Bob must be stationed somewhere in the Middle East because he sent over this weird looking doll. Oh my god. For Amy's birthday. <laughs> I'll ask Anisha about it next time we have a book club. She looks like she could be. Oh god damn it, lady. From over there. <laughs> Amy didn't seem excited to see the doll, but I think she would rather have a phone instead, or maybe seeing a baby doll makes her feel self conscious about working at the clinic. Oh, is she like working? At Planned Parenthood, the abortion factory? <laughs> or just anything medical oh, at this point. Too. This is Simon. Fuck yeah. Any of these toys haunted? No. Toys are, toys are set. Is the world haunted? The world probably is haunted. No? Uh, bullshit. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I don't know that I totally believe that, but okay. <laughs> All right, we've come full circle. Okay. Maybe try doing what Norm was saying before with the with the mirror thing. Like or was that, 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 was, that was downstairs? That was downstairs yeah. and to the left. Sometimes you just gotta throw that crucifix up to see. Okay. Hmm. I'm a bit confused now. There's a door there. Have we tried? I think I tried going through it. Okay. Let's make sure. It's not haunted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a downstairs. Okay. I didn't even notice that. 
Is that a mannequin? Of course. Get the fuck out of here. I mean, if I had a basement, I'd be putting the mannequin in there. Yeah. I only have a garage, and that's not the same. <laughs> That looks haunted. Yeah, any kind of crib or baby thing is probably yeah. haunted. Thanks for writing. It really brightened my day hearing from you. In your letter, you ask what's the weirdest thing I've seen as a missionary. The area of folks who practice uh, Kumamba is what you might call a pagan religion. It's kind of a mix of Catholic and African religions. One of the, one of the saints they worship is San La Muerte, or Saint Death. Yesterday we talked to a boy, about 15. When we asked him if he had ever prayed, he said no, but I have prayed to San La Muerte. He told us about a time when he, uh, where, uh, when he stayed over at his cousin's house, and according to him, they prayed to some figures of San La Muerte, and the figures made things in the house move around. He got real quiet and scared looking after that. We told him he could pray to God and that God would make him feel scared, wouldn't make him feel scared like that. We invited him to church, but he hasn't come yet. I need to wrap this letter up and get back to work. See you in four months, Leighton. Hmm. And of course it's going to be evil because it's from somewhere else. Right? Yeah. I hate that. I hate that so much. <laughs> All right. Eh. Okay. Eh. Which one of y'all is haunted? Okay. Just... One at a time. All right. Haunted sewing machine? No. There. You can't tell me there's nothing haunted in this room. There's... Oh, well, that's... How about that? How about all the, like, satanic sibl sigils and blood on the floor? How's that? Amy's parents could not endure witnessing the proceedings of the right for long. Uh, Mrs. Martin was hysterical, and the thing that was inside Amy was feeding off of the fear. Father Allred made me take to Martin's upstairs. I was physically worn out, but I managed to get them back up the stairs and into the kitchen. Amy was screaming, Mother, Mother, the whole time. Finally, I got them to sit down with me at the kitchen table. After a few minutes, we couldn't hear much of anything down in the basement. So I went down to check on things. I found Father Elred lying on his back, unconscious, with his arms spread out wide. Amy was not in the chair. Damn. Was that supposed to be, like, crucified then? Maybe, yeah. Alright, alright. I'm just gonna... Oh, okay. I can be a beast. I can be a Okay. Just gonna go ahead and hold that crucifix up for a little bit. <laughs> Stop. Uh. If you want a spoiler. It's not in this room. Uh, Mortis. Mortis. <laughs> Mortis. Damn. All right. I see how it is. <laughs> So basically, you gotta find the one, like the direction. Then. Okay. Yeah. Beef. 
shit, that was... I think that one got pretty close to Shit. Mortis. Mortis. <laughs> Mortis. <laughs> <sighs> Got straight up mortised. Straight mortised. I should really be dual wielding crucifixes. Yeah, no, like, they'll be way more efficient. Give me my fucking duelies. <laughs> should get a crucifix with, like, a grenade launcher attached. Oh, yeah, like, a, like, like an underslung grenade launcher. <laughs> and an Acog scope of it. <laughs> Shit. Is... Damn it. I think you just kind of have to keep hitting her with it. Very risky. Very risky. I, yeah, I have no fucking idea what that was. And and the symbols Please appear on the road no. sometimes, it's just hard to see. Very risky. That's how she was getting me, I think. Yeah. Didn't notice him on the rug. Uh, Please no. Oh. <laughs> No clue. No, I still don't. I still can't cipher that one. Yeah, yeah. I think you'll still probably be under attack on the way. Probably. Maybe not. <laughs> Was that the door? That was the only door I remembered. It's the front door. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. Or it could be something, like, even upstairs here. Yeah. The secret. Oh, you can see her up there. <laughs> In a window. Honestly, I mean, the ghost was upsetting, but the craziest thing was all the demons that attacked me in the forest on the way here. <laughs> yeah. No one seemed to even talk about it. Like, like yeah. All oh, you're, you're in the woods. That's gonna happen out here. Sometimes demons are just gonna scuttle at you. And they're gonna be like, March at me! <laughs> <laughs> Haunted car? No. Oh, is it not time to leave yet? Maybe it was something upstairs. Oh. <laughs> I think maybe I could have just left by the front door at any time. Maybe. <laughs> the smoke break. <laughs> yeah. It just went out there. Lit up the sig.
Oh, oh that's yep, open yep. now. Oh, the attic. Yep. Norm is right yet again. Karen, the church might contact you in a few days to tell you their version of what happened to me. I want you to hear it from me first. A year ago, I was involved in the exorcism of Amy Martin. What they said in the papers about what happened isn't true. She, my superior father, with... When I confronted her, she blank managed to cut the power to the house and blank her own parents with a blank with their own blank. Sounded pretty explicit. I have to go back to that house. The nightmare I'm having are nightmares I'm having are real. She's still there waiting for me. I can still help her. If I if I don't come back, I don't. I know that I love you, and I'm sorry, John. So I, I already came back here and failed to exercise the demon. All right, cool it, cool it, cool it, cool it. I'm not gonna cool it. Fine, I'll just. My God, what happened to you? Do you my face is pretty. I have to finish what I started. She's my priest. Uh... Okay. More this. <laughs> My God. You know what how it is. To you. Sometimes an extra demon comes up and it's just like, I'm gonna just bonk you. I have to finish what I started. He's my priest. Demons just, hey. <laughs> I'm walking here! <laughs> yeah, I'm Polly, I'm walking here. Mortis. Alright, alright, alright. Cool, they start you from every phase of the What? Oh, do I need to get out of the way maybe? Oh, These animations shit. are pretty cool. It's a key! Oh shit! Yeah, they look like rotoscoped or something. Which is pretty cool. Didn't know scoped. Get wrecked, you fucking ghost. Ooh. Almost didn't make it that time. Get mortis. You can't stop me. You're just a stupid freaking demon. I can't take this much Jesus. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> All right. Sometimes, you know, like a uh, face or like an arm just explodes out of your face. Yeah. And there's like a pentagram in blood that suddenly becomes etched on the floor, and, and it's that, like a and whole that follows the Whoa, okay. Mortis. 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 Oh, this is a game called Faith. 
that was on itch.io. Whoa, what? what was that for? I don't know. Do you die when you touch the I see. Oh, yep, I die when I touch it. Well, I think it all, like, she went to you. Maybe maybe it was that you were touching that, that she went to you. I'm not sure. But she, de she definitely, like, made contact with you. Oof. Hmm. Mort. <sighs> Mortis. Mortis. Okay, bad place to stand Because she follows the lines of yeah. the thing that I... I was expecting, because she usually goes, like, step, step, stop. Whoop. Shit. <laughs> Morris. Standard. basement anymore. Because any attic I've ever seen has been, like, that tall, and there's just insulation all over the ground. <laughs> yeah. And you can easily fall through. Oh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I, I imagine you're just, like, stepping between, like, like wooden beams so you, you don't fall through the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Gonna head outside, see if she survived that. Oh shit, there's a shotgun down there? Yeah, let me just see if uh, this blood needs to be sanctified at all. A gun with one bullet. <laughs> okay. Check over here, actually. It's been decided on an official level. 
Sounds good. Time to go murder children. You know, for a good reason, though. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> that was kind of funny. <laughs> Not the most uproarious thing I've ever heard. <laughs> Suffer. <laughs> <laughs> now I'll have plenty of meat. <laughs> <laughs> well, got it. It's all set now. <laughs> Be able to make it to Oregon this way. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> That got me so good. It just. <laughs> oh, okay. It's not. Oh. Never mind. I will say of the war. He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid of the terror. <laughs> <laughs> you should have. Should have shot that one. Yeah. It's the wrong deer. Oh, 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 damn. Oof. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that rules. Deer, I guess, don't appreciate getting shot with bullets. Deer Avenger 5 <laughs> up in this bitch. An identified body discovered near wrecked car. The site of the deadly car accident was discovered along the road near Sterling this morning, along with the body of a person who had not been identified. At 6 a.m. this morning, a resident called to report an accident along Snake Meadow Rail Road. The driver of a silver sedan had swerved off the road and struck a tree. The spokesman for the police commented that the body appeared to have been dragged for several yards away from the car deeper into the woods after having been ejected from the front windshield. It was noted that the body had been mangled beyond recognition. Investigators suspect that this was probably the work of coyotes. Police also noted that parts of the clean white-tailed deer were found in the trunk of the car. From a white-tailed deer, a hunter typically gets a 75 pounds of meat. However, it appears that the victim had accidentally of the accident was only able to carry 25 pounds of meat back to the car. Nice reference. I like it. Oh. Okay. A dog with one bullet. Would she still be in the house, maybe? Oh, I could check. Hmm. Oh. Alright, try getting in the car now, see what happens. Oh. What? A dog with one bullet. Um. Okay. Um. A dog with one bullet. That's strange. Oh god. I've never seen this. I've never seen this. <laughs> Hey. 
You have to turn around. Hell yeah, vanquished the devil. September 30th, 1986. Dear Mr. McLaughlin, it's been 30 days since the beginning of my treatment here at Yale Psychi Psychiatric Institute. Dr. Spinal, who has been so patient with me, has helped me understand my afflictions and has helped me find a way to move forward and accept the truth. With Dr. Spinal's help, I came to accept what really happened in September at the Martin family residence. I accept what happened was not the result of any supernatural phenomenon, but rather the desperate action of a young girl driven to violence by her domestic, uh, dogmatic parents and old church rituals that are thought to drive out evil. I am happy to report that since accepting the truth, my nightmares have ceased and I now enjoy peace of mind that I have not felt since uh, since the incident. Given my progress since the first coming here, I respectfully request my release from Yale Psychiatric Institute, contingent upon follow-up appointments with Dr. Spinal in the future. Sincerely, John Ward. Huh. Um, I mean, I did see real demons here. Like... A gun with one bullet. Still got a gun with one bullet. So I feel like that was like a secret, like final boss. Yeah, like, like, like ruby weapon or some shit. Maybe there's a demon in the basement I can shoot. <laughs> <laughs> We're going demon hunting. You know what? I was expecting more from that. A gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. Wait, is this? Robots can only jizz for love. No. The only thing that robots can't jizz for. Yeah. Robots can jizz for any reason except for love. <laughs> I go with one bullet. We need to shoot like the bullet. picture. Oh, because it's like... nope. And then just leave and get a gun with one bullet again. Step out. Step back in. Pick up the gun with one bullet. A gun with one bullet. <laughs> Pretty wasteful. They could have just left out more bullets instead of making me. Like, pick up a new gun every time I need a new bullet. Yeah. You know? It's okay, you live in America. <laughs> you can find enough of everything. <clears> there <throat> we go. All right. Anyway. So you defeated the evil that was here. With a gun. <laughs> With a gun. But I should have just used a gun in the first fucking well, place. Well, you also shot the the mirror a lot. Yeah. Oh, can you get those? Let's see if one of those is haunted. Nope. Nope. Suffer. Looks like he's rocking his head back and forth. Yeah. Just checking. <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's move, bitch. Get out the way. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Police arrest man accused of murdering missing girl. A, a New York man is in custody after he confessed to the murder of Sterling girl who had been missing. Uh, John Ward of Pilumra was pulled over on Snake Meadow Hill Road last night after a state trooper reported hearing a gunshot. The officer thought it might be poachers. The officer said Ward was acting nervous and suspicious after being pulled over. In question, Ward reportedly said, I've killed her. According to the police report, the officer called for backup after Ward became increasingly upset, saying repeatedly there was a demon inside her. Uh, Ward was taken to the Sterling Police Headquarters for further questioning. Ward then confessed to the authorities that he shot and killed Amy Martin, a 17-year-old girl who had been missing for nine days after escaping from a mental institution. After a brief search, police located Amy's body in the woods near the now abandoned Martin home. In addition to receiving... A gunshot wound to the stomach, Amy showed injuries suggesting that she had been thrown out of the second story window of the house. An officer who helped recover the body told reporters that Amy's face had been mutilated in a very brutal manner. Ward was found dressed as a priest when he was pulled over. Oh my god, he wasn't even really a priest? Wow. Um, it was suspected that he impersonated a priest to gain his victim's trust after Catholic authorities in Rome confirmed that Ward was not an ordained minister. Damn. <laughs> what the fuck? So I think for this uh, end, we might have to break the, the mirror and then bounce on out of there. Like just break the mirror and leave? Oh, do the boss thing. <laughs> Nice. Now I get the deep lore. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Then you have seven years of bad luck. I guess it's better than having permanent nightmares. Yeah. And, uh, you, know, you, just you, just do, you just do your time. Yeah. <laughs> in bad luck jail. And then. <laughs> so, should I just leave then? Or... Yes. Okay. Just. Head straight out without murdering anyone. <laughs> Shoot the guy by the 
process and the help of local animal experts from the University of Connecticut after the remains of an unidentified animal were found near Sterling. It was an animal which had residents calling a chupacabra. <laughs> We discovered on Snake Hill by a motorist yesterday. The animal had apparently been struck by a vehicle and parts of its carcass were scattered across the road. Police say they initially investigated the gruesome scene because the motorist had discovered the remaining remains and they appeared to be of a person. After arriving at the scene, police concluded that the remains were of some kind of animal. As a matter of public safety, we want to be sure about exactly what we're dealing with here, said the Sterling Police spokesman. This is clearly not a deer or a coyote. If it's a lion, a mountain lion, or an exotic pet that escaped from its owners or an animal with the rabies, you need to know about it. Animal experts attached to the investigation that would speculate about what kind of animal had been found, although they commented that the animal was hairless, anemic, and apparently suffered from rickets and a vitamin D deficiency that appears in animals and children who have not received enough sunlight. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, time to murder shed guy. Alright. <laughs> After that one time that I walked up to him and he just laughed at me. Nobody laughs at me when I approach. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody! <laughs> Does the back door to the kitchen work? Um, it hasn't worked any time we've tried it, but no. maybe now that it's... I, I think I've tried... I, I don't think we've tried after... The after camera, picking up the gun. Was, ...was a thing. But... Yeah. You might be right. Quick, sanctify that bitch. Don't you ever forget what happened here today. <laughs> I shot you because you laughed at me. <laughs> You never laugh at me! Nobody punks me! <laughs> oh god, Ruth, what a bullet. Suffer. I will say of the war, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. I shall not be afraid. Oh, what? No idea. Uh, yeah, it'll, I'm sure. Okay. Esteemed Cardinal Gifford, with all due respect, you cannot grasp the importance of the work I am doing for the young Michael without being present here. Michael needs my help now more than ever. In the past few weeks, I have made great progress with uh, Michael's affliction. Nevertheless, whatever darkness is inside him fights back with increasing ferocity. He must not let up the fight against the enemy at such a critical time. There's another reason why I dare not return Michael to his family, nor let him see him. The darkness inside him afflicts his soul, but it also causes a terrible strain on his body. So that there might be no mistaking what I mean, I have enclosed a photograph of the young Michael during our sessions. The photograph is missing. Okay. That's all the endings, I think. Yeah. But let's check that, that door. Oh, I'm going to bring the gun with me. Good. Always be prepared to murder if you have to. Yeah. Or want to. Or want to. Do the murder you want to see in the world. That's what I always say. Alright. Alright. That was Faith. It was a good one. Yeah. I mean, it's no buff imposter, but... Well, what could be? Yeah. <laughs>